The girls' high school softball coach in trouble now for sending his players out to find him dates. Uh, the coach is accused of using the team to help him meet women, and ABC's Ty Hernandez is here with the story. Good morning, Ty. Hey, good morning, you two. The coach is accused of making a game out of it for his young teammates, but it backfired when the potential love match the girls allegedly found for their coach decided she wasn't going to play along. It seemed innocent enough to Kat Agard at first. She was doing her job at a sporting goods store when some high school girls came in. They were all just kind of laughing and being loud and asked me if they could get my phone number and take a picture of me for their coach. What Agar didn't know was the coach, 25-year-old Troy Henham, had allegedly sent the girls himself on a so-called scavenger hunt to find impossible dates. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll help them out. And I just... It didn't really cross my mind what they had asked me. Agard shared these text messages with ABC News, which she says are from Henham. Right away, the sender fesses up to using the student players to help with his game, bragging, quote, right, genius, great way to meet a girl. Use my girls, LOL. I was a little flattered by the attention, um, but I was unsure. Agard carried on the conversation for over an hour, at one point asking about work, quote, what do you teach? He answered, special education, earning some praise from Agard, who sent back, ooh, caregiver, nice. He was definitely coming on very strong. At one point, Agard even compliments this photo of Henham, saying, hmm, is that muscles I see? But then a change of heart, summed up with this message, go read your Bible if you were a creeper. So what happened next? Agard says a quick internet search led her to these stories from local newspapers about Henham's departure from a coaching position at another school in nearby Lake Washington. I was completely shocked. Lake Washington School District reportedly found no cause to discipline Henham for texting a student in April 2012. Still, by the next season, he was no longer on staff. Agard says after learning this, she reported Henham to Roosevelt High School's principal. And Seattle Public School confirms that's when the softball coach, just six days into his job, was placed on unpaid leave. Now, Hannum has not responded to numerous phone calls and emails, but the Seattle Times is reporting that Coach Hennem has resigned his position with Roosevelt High. Bianca, Dan? It's a creepy story. All right, Ty, thank you.